Hey, how's it going guys? Tay here, and in this video today I'm going to be talking about Modern Warfare 4 and some possibilities uh, of them having microtransactions in Modern Warfare 4. Of course, um, about a week ago the mi microtransactions came out for Black Ops 2, and it looks like something that Activision are going to be pushing and uh, really trying to bring into all of the future Call of Duties. Um, they've done it, um, EA have done it with Dead Space 3, and uh, it's something that a lot of the games I think nowadays are looking to bring in some of these smaller pieces of DLC, little pieces of add-ons. Um, that you can buy into the game for small amounts of money. So uh, the possibilities that Modern Warfare 4 could have these microtransactions is pretty big. And I was reading through some of the forums um, as this news came out, and somebody made a really good point actually, and it got me thinking about the possibilities that uh, these microtransactions and some kind of currency in uh, the game could do. Of course, in Black Ops, in the first Black Ops, we had uh, COD points, and they were something that I guess kind of went down well, but they weren't too successful in what they did. But I think um, if they brought in these these microtransactions into Modern Warfare 4 with these COD points or some kind of currency or something like that and I think it could work really really well I mean an example of a game that's already done this is FIFA 13 I play that quite a lot and uh, basically once you've played some games of football uh, you rack up these points over all the games that you've played and uh, there's a massive store with loads of different kits and footballs and football boots you can buy and stadiums and loads of cool stuff in there and uh, you can buy them with these points that you've earned but you can also buy them uh, with some real life money you know you can put some money on your your account to get some of these points and then buy some stuff with that and that's something I think that could have massive potential in Modern Warfare 4 you know we're talking like camos, reticules, um, calling cards things like that and um, I think they could make it you know a little bit less money orientated so it doesn't look like they're just m massive money whores um, and a bit a bit more like achievement related you know you get once you've got so many played so many games you get some XP from those games you get to spend it in these stores and get some cool little add-ons but if you don't fancy playing that many games to get those points then and you can also buy them if you want to for a couple of dollars and um, I think that would be pretty awesome because you know it's rewarding the people that are playing the game a lot and getting a lot of kills and things but also if you can't be bothered frankly and you just want to get those cool stuff then you can also purchase them. So what do you guys think? Drop me a comment in the comment section below. Do you think uh, Modern Warfare 4 will or should have microtransactions in it and also you know do you think you should be forced to pay for them like you can on Black Ops 2 or do you think you should be able to earn them like you can uh, like, like my ideas where you get um, XP over the games that you play and then you can spend that XP on those microtransactions or buy them you know, with your own money if you can't bother to play the games. Um, I think that's a little bit of a more fairer way to do it. But um, you know, any other suggestions, put them in the comments section below. Uh, this gameplay is coming towards an end. It's one of the most annoying games, well, stretch of games. I went about three or four games in a row where I was like one or two kills off a canine unit. It's pretty annoying, but it's got some decent clips in there, so I just brought that to you today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Some previous videos are on the screen right now, and I hope you all have a great day.